Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. I'm not someone who tends to shy away from books with really difficult topics. I'm mostly able to read about like anything just because there is a little bit of separation between me and books. Like I can separate myself emotionally for the most part. I mean, it's not like I'm super cold hearted or anything like that, but because they're just words on a page and not something that I'm like visually seeing happen or is happening in real life, um, I'm able to create a separation. So I'm able to read about difficult subject matters, but there are those occasions where you just read a book that's so real that it's like a gut punch. In those situations, it's a book where I'm reading something and I can feel myself just like get that gut punch and I literally have to put the book down and take a break from it in order to keep going. There have been times where I'll like put the book down and like do a little lap around my house and like shake it off a little bit before I go back to it. The great thing about a lot of books is like they'll explore difficult subject matters and expose you to things that you might not be exposed to otherwise. So I have four books I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to go through them in reverse chronological order of when I've read them. So the first book is All Grown Up by Jamie Attenberg. This is probably the least obvious of the four books that I'm going to talk about. Uh, I just read this book recently. It was just released in March and it was really fantastic and the gut punch that happens in here again I think is really surprising because it's mostly a book following this girl Andrea. I say girl but I mean like woman. You see glimpses of her at different points in her life. You see her like as a young woman in her 20s moving to New York City living on her own. You see her in her 40s older and dealing with family stuff and so you jump around in time quite a bit. And the parts in here that were sort of a gut punch for me was just like her complete honesty about what's happening in her life. I feel like I haven't really experienced a character who was so real about everything going on in her life. The way Jamie Enberg writes this character, she doesn't hide her flaws and she doesn't hide her problems at all. She just lays them all out in the open and there are certain ways that she talks about certain situations that's just so hard hitting in a way that you don't normally expect and you think as someone who is single and doesn't have kids and things like that and the main character in here is in her 40s and never got married and never had kids and things like that the way that she talks about certain experiences just felt so so honest I was just like oh wow this is <laughs> this was more than I was expecting from this book I think especially like with the cover art and when you hear about like single women living in New York City you might expect something light and fluffy but this is definitely not that this is so much more, I don't want to say gritty because I feel like gritty gives it the wrong vibe, but it's just like that rawness that's there that really was quite the gut punch while reading this book. The next one is Colson Whitehead's The Underground Railroad. I don't have my copy of it right now. It's out with a friend, so image will be here. This is one that I feel like is slightly more obvious in the way that it's a gut punch. You're following a slave named Cora who is escapes from the south and takes the Underground Railroad to the north and is trying to get away. In the way that that most slave narratives are very very difficult to read. This one is definitely that but I feel like I've read a, a bunch of stories that deal with slavery and I feel like this was the first one that was so very honest about the difficulties and cruelties that they have to deal with and not even just like as a slave but the constant fear that they have that they're going to get captured again and taken back to the south and then the punishments that'll await them there because they had run away. The idea that they can never truly be free and that pressure and that stress that that puts on them. I felt like I started to have that pressure and stress myself while reading the book. There were points where I had such a difficult time reading it because of that tension that's constantly in that story. I will say there is like a little bit of a detachment that Colson Whitehead creates between the reader and the main character Cora and I feel like that detachment is like a requirement in order for a reader to be able to get through that story because it's so honest about the struggles of being a slave and a runaway slave that if you weren't detached from the story it would be literally unbearable like I don't know if I would have been able to finish the book but the fact that there is a little bit of separation that he creates makes it so you can actually get through the entire story and there is literally zero sugar coating that Colson Whitehead puts into that book. The next book is An Untamed State by Roxane Gay. If you've read this book you know completely what I'm talking about. In this story you are following this woman named Muriel. She is the daughter of one of the richest, most powerful people in Haiti. And then one day she is kidnapped and held for ransom, but her father refuses to pay the ransom because he doesn't want to give in to people like that because then 
their families' lives will always be in danger. They'll always be kidnapped and held up for ransom and people think that he'll always just pay out. And while she's held and being kidnapped, she goes through horrific, horrific abuse. This is like one of the books that I think requires the strongest trigger warnings ever. Roxane Gay does not shy away from the deplorable acts that some people have to deal with and I've never really experienced a book quite so in your face about abuse, sexual abuse, and rape. And it's, it's it's hard. This is a hard book to read. But I think that Roxane Gay also just creates such a interesting character and she's such a good storyteller that you're able to still get through this book despite the fact that it will be a gut punch. And the final book that I have today is The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. In this story you are following this woman who is a prison investigator. She works with people who are on death row about to be executed and she works to try to get them off of death row. Uh, so one day she's given the file of this one man but he sort of refuses her services and she starts looking into his case on her own and trying to figure out why this man doesn't want to try to get off of death row because even you know guilty people don't want to die. She starts looking into it and she starts talking to this prisoner um, and talking to other people that are part of the prison and things like that and there are certain scenes in here that are really difficult to read. Just people talking about the things that had happened to them in their lives, the things that these prisoners have done throughout their lives are not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. But it's so well written. You are so emotionally connected to these people, even though they may have done horrible things. Renee Denfeld is a prison investigator herself, so she has a lot of first-hand experience uh, with these types of situations. So I think that's also something that she brings to the table that you could definitely see in the story. But yeah, this is a really, really fantastic book. I think this is a really underrated book. I recommend this book all the time to people because it's really well written and it's really an emotional story, but in like the best possible way. <laughs> So yeah, those are all of the books that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I know that there are lots of other books out there that are similar in nature. They have like certain scenes or certain descriptions that are literally just like take your breath away because it's so painful. <laughs> Not in the best good way, but in the bad way. So if you have any recommendations, definitely leave it down below. I like stories like that just because it really moves me emotionally uh, and that's something I really enjoy in storytelling. Uh, so yeah, definitely leave comments down below if you have any other recommendations or if you've read any of these books I want to talk about it, definitely leave that down in the comments as well. So yeah, that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!